What's the difference between a fuzz and a muff? This question was asked on my fuzz face gain appreciation video, and apparently nobody seems to be able to explain the differences in the physical hardware between the fuzz face and the big muff. Well, this wouldn't be the science of loud if I didn't have an answer to try and educate you. So I'm going to take my DIY fuzz face and the little big muff and try to get to the bottom of this one, so that you don't have to be too afraid to ask. Both the fuzz face and the muff are classic fuzz pedals that have seen many spin-offs and clones over the years. In fact, most fuzz pedals can be categorised as either more like a fuzz face or more like a muff. The fuzz face came out first and is the simpler of the two circuits. Now what you're seeing is an extremely simplified version of the fuzz face circuit, where I've removed a lot of the supporting components for the sake of clarity. I really only want to focus on the amplifying elements as that's the major difference between these two effects. The fuzz face is a cascading two transistor amplifier. Transistor 1 amplifies and severely distorts one side of the signal and transistor 2 amplifies both sides equally, resulting in an asymmetric square wave distortion. There is no tone stack. No purposeful filtering or EQ shaping to speak of. The fuzz face is a rough and ready distortion generator, which simply amplifies the signal until it clips the transistor's amplification threshold. The fuzz face gain control adjusts the negative feedback of the whole amplifier circuit, altering how much amplification the transistors are applying. This gives a thick, overdrivey sound with low signal levels, but a ripping fuzz tone when the gain is turned all the way up. It's a little chaotic to use and interacts with how you play it. Muff builds on the fuzz face to try and achieve a thicker, sustaining distortion sound. It accomplishes this with four transistor gain stages back to back. The first is a boost stage, which amplifies the signal level, but doesn't contribute significantly to any distortion. Then there are two clipping stages. Each of these uses a single transistor to amplify the signal, and clipping diodes in a soft clipping arrangement to add distortion. This then passes through a tone control, which blends between a high pass and a low pass filter. You can learn more about this and other gain pedal tone controls in my tone control video. Since the clipping stages and the tone filters have attenuated the signal, a final boost stage amplifies it again to get it back to a usable output level. This quad gain staging builds a thicker, woollier, but less raspy distortion sound. If it weren't for that twin filter tone control really messing with the frequencies, the Big Muff would have a symmetric square wave output. The Big Muff's sustain control attenuates the level coming out of the first boost stage, so this whole thing operates as a set gain amplifier and we are just adjusting the size of the signal that goes through it. The sounds here are more reproducible and less dependent on the nuances of the performance. <laughs>
Both of these effects were innovative advancements in distortion generation at the time of their release. Fans of the fuzz space will appreciate the element of unpredictability and chaos it provides. It's a good bit nastier sounding, but also cleans up well, rewarding the musician who plays their rig as much as they're playing their guitar. The Big Muff by comparison is more stable and predictable. Its thick wall of sound and EQ shaping capabilities make it excellent for both bass and guitar despite it being less versatile in other ways. They play very differently to each other also. Depending on your equipment and how you interact with effects, it can make you love one and hate the other. I personally prefer how the fuzz face sounds and reacts to my playing, although I know a lot of people who have a hard time with it and are unable to get good sounds. Whereas the Big Muff kind of sounds the same no matter who is playing it, which is either a strength or a weakness depending on your perspective. The fuzz face is an amplify the signal until it breaks, level of simplicity, and the Big Muff is a structured and cultivated sequence of gain staging. I'm going to leave you in a moment with some direct A-B comparisons of these fuzz pedals, but before I do, if you've got any questions that you are too afraid to ask, then please do leave them in the comments section of this video, and perhaps they'll become the topic of a future Tata video. Keep it loud, and let's hear these fuzz pedals in action.